I've been wanting to show you guys my gardens for a while, so let's take a look. These are garlics. I planted them last autumn, and the soil here is kind of a... it's mostly peat. And it's damp now because we've had so much rain, but as you can see, they're not really thriving. So this is my lesson that uh, peat can make a good filler, but not a particularly good soil. And then on this side, this whole front garden actually was very poisoned by, I think it was a gum locust tree that I cut down last year and you can see it's trying to come back. And anything that those leaves or it made yellow flowers and dropped these bean pods everywhere, anything it touched basically was poisoned. Nothing would grow there. So this is a couple of years of remediation those are doing pretty well. I've got this raspberry that's struggling. I think I might get a couple of raspberries. Something keeps eating at them up here. I don't know what's going on there, but um, something I've noticed. Certain things do flourish, so this is actually a parsnip. It comes back every year. I'm going to let it go to seed so I can get some seeds out of that. It's doing really well. Here's another raspberry, and you can see it just doesn't like it in this soil. Um, these are starting to really thrive. They're getting bigger leaves. They're starting to proliferate. You can see them on both sides. They make little purple flowers right in the springtime. I'm noticing that uh, things that have tubers, like these irises, seem to do well. These tulips are doing well, although I need to bust those up and move them apart. They're too bunched together. I'm noticing that um, my chives are doing well. Again, this is a bulb, or a t not a tuber, but a bulb. They have bulbs. They seem to do well. There's another raspberry that's just struggling. Um, and you'll notice I have a lot of clover that I'm just sort of letting run wild here because I think the clover helps to remediate the soil. I've got some garlics kind of growing here and they're doing much better than say those ones just over there. So yeah. I had a boulevard here. It's the city's property but it was full of dandelions. I pulled the dandelions and I planted clover instead a couple of years ago and it's turned from like a parched wasteland into I don't know I, I kind of like this clover scape if we take a look at the soil it used to be real sandy but it's starting to turn it into more of a black soil to the point where this year I actually planted some strawberries and they seem to be thriving up here. Yeah, even got some purple clovers that kind of tower a bit higher than the white clovers. It's kind of cool. Then I've got like this front yard that people say I should turn into a garden, but I like it. it used to be a dandelion wasteland. I pulled them one by one and planted clover where I pulled them and now I've got this beautiful green lawn which honestly I don't fertilize it I don't use any pesticides it's just because of the clover drawing nitrogen from the atmosphere into the soil it makes it beautiful I've got those guys grown there this this is actually a huge chestnut tree and it has a similar problem in the sense that it kind of poisons the ground but I've been able to overcome that. This used to be a huge dead patch, but now it's all filled in. And this year I did a couple of new things. I planted some little trees. I don't know if they are peach or nectarine. They came out of my canning waste pile. They seem to be doing really well. Good leafy structure. They've grown about that much this year since I transplanted them a couple of months ago. Uh, this is a cherry that I also 
had volunteered for my compost tailings. Um, but this year, the cherry trees have been really afflicted. There's some sort of black aphid, and I hope it's not dead. It's certainly not doing well, but we'll see. It'd be good if that one actually pulled through. Here's another one of these peach slatch nectarines, and they seem to be mostly immune to whatever is affecting the cherry trees. I have this apple tree. It's about four or five years old now, and it's just been devastated. Like you can see all these dead leaves, and I don't know if they're still in there, but I think it's a white moth that's doing this. And it's really quite sad. I do have some apples growing there, but I don't know if they're going to make it or not. You can kind of, oh, there we go. I don't know if, you, if, I, if I can show you this. There's like these caterpillars inside every leaf, basically. Last year, I cut each leaf off that was starting to do that, and I got a couple of wormy apples, but this year I'm just letting it go to see what happens. Maybe the tree comes up with its own response, and then here I've got similarly a larger cherry tree. And you can see I've got a few cherries starting to grow here, but they're in trouble. I mean, they're not looking all that great. And it's the same thing as that other cherry tree I showed you. It's just this infestation. And I can't bring myself to spray them because I don't want to kill the bees. So, I've got this kind of flowery garden. I like these irises. They're doing well daisies over there. Um, a whole bunch of oregano growing there. This year I reclaimed a bit of garden from the flower wasteland. and I, I grew broccoli and this is what I really wanted to show you today. Look at that. Like, this is Canada eh? and it's only the middle of June and that's just about ready to harvest already. Those broccolis. They've done so amazingly well see another one in there. That one is huge. I should almost eat that one today. And yeah, really, really pleased with how those have turned out. I've got some garlics that I planted last autumn. They're doing okay. They're not doing as good as some of my neighbors who planted theirs in straw and what have you, but they're doing pretty good. Um, I've got some peppers that I transplanted. They seem to be not dead yet, but certainly not thriving. Of course, these gigantic leaves, I think, totally covered that one, but that's okay. Um, I've got, I don't know if these are cucumbers or some kind of melon. I dug those out of my compost pile and transplanted them here. They're starting to do well. And then here, I've got tomatoes, which again, I'm super amazed at how far along they are for it being only the second week of June. I've already got some blooms going on there. I think I'm gonna have lots of tomatoes this year. And um, this little tiny garden really sprang up huge in the last week during the lightning storms. I posted one of those videos of the lightning storms that we had. They seem to really like the rain that comes down when there's a lightning storm for some reason. Back here I've got some carrots. I really need to thin them out, but I'm too lazy. I should maybe move a couple from there and put them in that spot that didn't grow any. This is an undisclosed item doing very well. I have trouble with herbs. I, I have friends who I'm jealous of. Their herbs grow so well. I've been trying to grow herbs here for a couple of years. I don't know. I, th I guess maybe those are something, but certainly not on the scale that I see other people having success with those. 
I also planted uh, strawberries this year. But they're not doing so good. Not so great. I think I uh, made my fertilizer too strong. Um, you can see a bunch of them died. And I've got these weeds that I haven't quite identified, so I'm letting them go just to see what happens. But yeah, most of those strawberries didn't pull through. So that's my lesson, not to over-fertilize. I planted uh, peppers in here, but not one came up. I've got some interesting volunteer weeds again. I don't quite recognize them yet, so I'm just letting them go for now. Here's some plum trees that grew from my compost that I potted. Here's sort of the secret sauce this year. I've been using this sea soil and also composted chicken manure. Plants seem to love it, although as I showed you with the strawberries it can be overdone. Here's where those peach slash nectarines were coming from. I should have transplanted these before last winter. They were doing so well last year, but I think the, uh, the roots kind of froze because they were exposed. I do see though that I have a brand new one starting so I should put that in a pot right away so they don't suffer the same fate. And then I've got another volunteer cherry here. And you can see it's got a bit of rust on some of these leaves but it's it's not near as ravaged as the uh, two cherry trees I showed you in the front yard. I'm thinking this one is almost to the point where it will start flowering in a year or two. Um, and I think it does quite well because it lives right next to my compost. And I see, wow, I've got a, another, some kind of melon or cucumber or something in there volunteering. And a whole bunch of potatoes volunteering. I've got some more plums and another looks like peach there. Yeah, I like seeing what comes out of the compost without me trying anything. I've got my raspberries are doing pretty good. I don't know, they seem a little dry to me or something. Eh, I see the bees are in there. I'll give them time. Here I've got chives. Or not chives, uh, what are those leeks? And I'm letting them go to seed because I want to harvest some seeds and plant them around my yard. There's also some, some onions in that mess. I find these marigolds, or not marigolds, uh, forget-me-nots, these micro forget-me-nots, really like to proliferate. I kind of let them and then I weed them back. Kind of an interesting ground cover. I do let the clovers go quite a bit, again, to fixate that nitrogen in the soil. I'm letting some onions that I have back here go to seed, again, so I can get some seeds out of them. There's some more garlics growing there. And then these. Oh, yes. Well, I'll let you wonder what those are, but I just, I just want to say, if I can get my head out of the picture here, how many fronds on there, eh? What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My babies are doing well. Yeah, so that's my little tiny micro garden this year. Just wanted to show it to you. I've got a little fern growing down there. Um, I don't have a lot of space, but it's been fun just to see what works what doesn't work and uh, yeah I'm super pleased with those broccolis I showed you oh look there's my little kitty cat I should have let him out here he probably wanted to be part of this